What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new here, thanks for checking out my video. Uh, please consider subscribing, and uh, as well as check out my intro video uh, on the channel so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on around here. All right guys, this is what we got going on tonight. Sorry, the garage is a bit of a mess. I'm in the process of moving in and unpacking everything. Anyway, um, this is what we got going on. New grill for the uh, F-150. This is for the, the 99 to 03 um, Ford F-150s. Um, it's a fairly small mod, but I think it's something that'll look really good on the truck. Um, I kind of had something similar to this before that I just kind of made myself. Um, it was basically just a, a black mesh sheet behind um, the factory grill shell, like what this part actually clips into. Um, and then I had my own just kind of makeshift lights mounted behind it to kind of give that similar look. But I went with this instead uh, because I think it looks a lot more cleaner, it's a lot simpler to install. Um, and Overall, I think it'll look a lot better on the truck. Um, uh, also, it comes with the Ford lettering if you want to run those, um, which I don't think I will. I think I'm going to leave these off. I think it'll look a little bit cleaner, um, but we'll see when it's on the truck. Um, also, it comes with your harness back here. Um, it just taps into, uh, I mean, wherever you want to put it into, but the most logical place would be your parking light harness. That way it comes on with your parking lights. Um, you don't have to worry about any switches or anything. Um, and the link to, the link to buy this will be down in the, in the description. Um, I think they're out of stock right now. I think I ended up buying the last one, at least at the time of this video. Um, but yeah, I'll include it in there because I'm sure we'll have more in stock. So if you want to check it out, go for it. All right, I think I'm going to pull the front of the truck in here so I have light to, to work with. I'll just have to move my, move my toolboxes and some of this other crap out of the way. So. Just bear with me for a second. Here we go. It's a little, a little tight packed in here, uh, especially with all this crap and my buddy's car in here right now. But uh, it should work. It shouldn't take too long, like I said. So it's much nicer having my, my toolboxes again. I just picked these back up today. A buddy of mine was watching them. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, before I was just working out of this little, little tiny toolbox I just keep in my truck. You know, it just has what I need for the most part. Um, but man, it's so nice having. Full toolbox again. So, anyway, yep, let's get started. All right, the grill is off the truck, and uh, this is what we're working with. As you can see, it has the factory uh, honeycomb style grill, which looks really good. Um, I love the look of these grills on the on the trucks, and that's why I like this one so much, because it still has that a similar honeycomb pattern. It's like a little bit more uh, 
flattened, I guess, if you will. Um, but yeah, this is going to look super good. All right, well, I don't really have much of a, like a workbench or workspace to do this at, so I guess I'm going to do it right here on top of my toolboxes. Um, anyway, yeah, it should be fine. All right, let's see, let's get this guy unlocked. Honestly, I forget all the tools I have in here. I think all I really need, besides the screwdriver and nut driver that I used to take it off, is a flathead to get behind and pop the tabs out. Oh yeah, all right. Uh, if I can find one, there we go. That should work. All right, hopefully I don't break nothing. This grill is in like perfect shape. No cracks or broken tabs anywhere. So I really hate to mess it up. So let's see. Ever so carefully. Flip it around this way, I think. Also, while I'm recording, I'm kind of thinking a wider angle lens would definitely be a lot more useful, especially working you know, up close and stuff like that. But at least y'all can see what's kind of going on. So, anyway, yep. So, I'll kind of show you what's going on back here for those who haven't really messed with these a whole lot. So, you just got these tabs. I mean, it's like any other automotive grill, pretty much. You got these tabs around the perimeter that hold the, the centerpiece in, and that's the piece we're, we're replacing. Um, what I did before, um, like I said, with the, the mesh sheet that I had behind it, um, is uh, I actually, uh, I just got a universal, just like one by four foot mesh sheet. Um, and then uh, I trimmed it, you know, fit inside the surround. And then I cut off all the tabs with like a little Dremel. Um, that way it would sit flush against the grill shell and then I used, uh, I used zip ties to hold it in. But it, I mean, it actually looked pretty clean. Um, you couldn't even tell that the, the zip ties were, were there. Um, unless you, I mean, unless you really looked at it up close. Um, but yeah, it didn't look bad, but this is definitely, um, this style of grill is gonna be a lot nicer. So uh, enough chit chat and let's, let's get started. And she's out. That wasn't too bad, honestly. Didn't break anything, which is nice. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I spilled my drink as you probably saw right at the end there. That's nice. But anyway. Yep. Came off nice and smooth. These little tiny tabs down at the ends here. Those things were were kind of a pain actually, believe it or not. Uh, but whatever, it's it's off. Everything looks good. Alright, and then new grill just pops into place. This should take two seconds. y'all check it out that went together so easy it fit perfect in the grill shell for, for being an aftermarket grill like it couldn't have fit more perfect everything snapped into place just like it should and I mean look how clean that is that looks so good oh man I can't wait to get it up against the truck now the only thing I kind of wish um, that was different about it is how like further back the actual honeycomb set here it's, it's a little more shallow, like you, you can kind of see with this one I'm talking about. Like you got this, the border here, how it's kind of recessed a little bit more. 
that's kind of how I wish it was with this one, but it's not that big of a deal. I have no complaints other than that whatsoever. That looks so good. All right, well, we'll go ahead and get it up on the truck and then we'll go over the wiring, get the lights working. Actually, scratch that, we'll go over wiring now. <laughs> I already forgot that this had a, a whole separate harness um, and it's all plug and play after you splice it into your uh, parking lights. Um, so anyway, let's bring this over here. Now, for my situation, um, this has already been made pretty easy because, like I said before, um, I had makeshift uh, Raptor lights put up in here. And because of that, I already had a harness for it. Um, I just had a plug and play harness. It came with a, um, a set of fog lights that I had in the truck that I took out now. But I used that harness and relay set to wire in the old Raptor lights that I had in the grill, as you can see here. Um, so anyway, I think what we're just going to do is cut off these terminal ends um, and uh, splice on the spade style connectors and then crimp them onto this end as well and then we'll just plug it in like that and it should be ready to go. Super simple. Um, but if for those of you that will be putting this on you know, a truck that hasn't been molested, um, basically what you would do is you could use these like quick splice connectors that you see down here, they're kind of shoddy. They they work when they want to and they don't when they don't. Um, they're not the best way to do that, but it's quick and easy. And I mean, it'll, it'll work for the most part. And all you would do is take those over here, run your harness um, to your uh, connector, um, either side, it doesn't matter. Um, and figure out which wire is ground, which is normally black, which should be this one, and which one is your parking light. Now, it's very important, you don't want to wire it into your actual turn signal. Uh, I don't remember which wire is which, but it's, it's important you don't wire it into your turn signal, otherwise the lights are just going to flash with your turn signal, um, and it'll only be on the side that you connected to. So it's very important to make sure you got the right wire that you uh, uh, splice it into your parking light um, wire. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, so all I'm going to do here is just Cut these ends off, uh, splice on the spade style connectors, and it should be good to go from there. And then, uh, like I said, it's just uh, your little connectors up here that just plug into the individual lights and these little protective caps. Um, anyway, yeah, so that shouldn't take long at all. Let's get it started. All right, got the spade terminals in, nice and tight, shouldn't go anywhere. Probably be better to just solder the wires down there and these together, but um, I mean, these should work. I don't see it being a problem, and if it is, then well, I'll just do that later on. Um, anyway, so these are done, um, so that's good to go. All right, and now we just gotta prep these guys down here. Let's see how much wire I have. Should have enough to work with. All right. All right, there you have it. Got the two wire ends connected together, or the terminals on, on each one. And uh, let's go ahead and put it all together now. Um, so those are plugged in. Now let's go ahead and get the grill, just kind of set loosely into place. We plug the lights in, and then see what happens. Hopefully all good, of course. 
hate for this to not work. <laughs> That'd kind of suck, right? Alright, let's see how we want to do this. This one, sure, this one can go in the middle, this one can go on the other ends. Alright, that'll work. Plug them in. Now, I believe I have the wires hooked up right down here. I believe the white was power and blue was ground. Um, they're not touching. <laughs> Don't want to blow the, the fuse. So, all right, let's give it a try. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that looks freaking cool. Let me get you a better angle. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks so dope. Oh man. <laughs> yep. Awesome. That is what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, well, cool. It all works. Wow, he's actually gonna put off some heat. But uh, anyway, it all works like it should. Go ahead and finish buttoning it up. All right, so I got the harness ran the way I wanted it to. Um, they gave you a lot of wire harness, uh, which is uh, nice, I guess, but in my case, I didn't really need it. Um, so what I did is I kind of folded it back together, kind of like how it came in the packaging, how they all you know folded up nicely and tied up. Um, all the creases were still there because it's still brand new, obviously. Um, so I just kind of folded it back together for the most part the way it was, left the excess. So I could plug it into the grill, you know, ran it through this hole in the header panel. And uh, I can't really show you behind here, but I tucked it like back behind the header panel. It's all hollow back here. So I folded it up and then uh, tucked it back behind the header panel, um, wrapped up the terminals um, in electrical tape so they don't touch each other and kind of protect them from the weather. Um, and then I know how everybody feels about zip ties, but I just use a couple zip ties to kind of hold it in place so it doesn't fall back out. Um, and it really, it, it shouldn't go anywhere. You can kind of see it hanging out a little bit here. Um, but otherwise, that should be good to go. Um, so it shouldn't touch anything, shouldn't get caught on anything. Um, and it'll, it'll, it'll look clean. You won't see wires hanging down everywhere. Um, I mean, you'll probably see these behind the grill. Um, but I mean, there's not really a whole lot you can do about that. So um, anyway, yeah, that should work. Um, and I even gave myself a little extra, probably more than I needed to. Um, so I'll probably end up kind of shoving this back down there once it's all in place, so. And there you have it. She's all back together, look at that. That looks freaking amazing. Oh man, this came out so good. That buzzing sound, by the way, or the humming sound is just my headlights, they're LEDs, and they have a little cooling fans on the back of them. That's that sound that you're hearing. But man, look at this. So clean. Looks so good. Well, there you have it. New grill on the truck. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. There's more to come.